Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and I'm gonna like you for that. But to my old friends, you know, the shareholders of this place, thank you for always coming back. Thank you for the love. So, yesterday I posted a video on a, a picture on my Instagram where this is what I wrote. Let me just read the caption that I wrote on the picture. I was like, based on my life on IG, which I don't really have one, which I don't really have much. What can you say or assume about my character, good or bad? I won't mind. Drop it here. So, basically, I was asking for the assumptions that you guys have about me. You know, because most of the people that I have on social media are people that I have not actually seen in real life. So, basically, anything you know about me is what you see on social media. And honestly, I don't put much out there, especially on Instagram. Instagram is all about me and my makeup and youtube and all that so yeah and um i had some interesting comments very interesting not much but i do appreciate you guys know that if you are on youtube these assumption videos have been going around now so i was just like let me join the gang okay let me join the gang and also see if i can have people to talk some to say something about me and yes they did so i'm just gonna read the few ones that i have here and then i'll be very honest with you guys tell you my truth and like I said, I do appreciate you. So the first one is from Jessie Gypsy 2. She, she wrote, outgoing, funny, you don't take life serious at all, and stylish. Of course. Um, outgoing with people that I know. I'm very outgoing with people that I know. People that I don't know, I don't you know. I'm not that friendly with them. I'm less than friendly with them. Not taking life serious at all. So true. Like for me, this life is not that deep. It's not that deep. I'm sorry, I'm chewing. I have something in my mouth. Like, if you take it too serious, my dear, one day you just fall down and die. <laughs> so for me, nothing is too serious. When anything, even if it's a bad situation, when anything happens to me, sometimes I just laugh about it. Me and my best friend, that's what we always do. You know, we find ourselves in messy situations and then you see us laughing so hard. And you're like, what's happening to these people? Are they mad? So I just don't take life serious at all. It's not that serious. Then stylish. Yes, if I can say so myself. I'm a, I'm a stylish girl. Uncle? I'm a stylish girl. I'm a stylish child. <laughs> Thank you very much, sweetheart. So the next one is from Epia Karin. She says, you be good girl now. She, she wrote in broken English. And basically what she's saying is, you are a good girl. Free spirit, me love you so. Except when I meet you and then you show me a different side of you. I don't know what, what's the meaning of a good girl. Because that word, I feel like it's too heavy for me. Like, that's too much of responsibility to put on my shoulder. Hmm? Calling me a good girl. Oh my God, I've never been called a good girl. <laughs> but can I say I'm a good girl? I don't know. To some people, I'm a good girl. To some people, I'm a bad girl. To myself, what, I, what do I think about myself? Like, personally, am I a good girl or am I a bad girl? I'm a normal person. Yes, I'm nothing of a good girl. I'm nothing of a bad girl. I just try to live honestly. Especially as I grow older, I just want to be honest, more honest with myself and more honest with the people around me. So if that makes me a bad person, then it's okay. If it makes me a good girl as well, then I'm, I'm grateful to God. <laughs> Thank you so much, Karin. Mm, then this one is from Pretty V1. Pretty V just says, I'm going for bad. Why are you too fine? <laughs> Thank you, darling. Thank you, boo. I don't know if I, if you say I'm fine, then I'm a fine girl. Okay? Thank you for saying I'm a fine girl. Am I a fine girl? You guys should tell me below if I'm a fine girl. Mm? You've seen me with or without makeup now. Mm? I mean, based on what you see on this YouTube and IG, <laughs> am I a fine girl? Thank you. If you say I'm a fine girl, then I'm a fine girl. Then Naomi just says, I love you. I love you too, darling. I love you so much. A.K. Azingwe says clown. Oh my god. This was harsh. Like she just wrote clown and exclamation mark. Of course I'm a clown. And um, yeah, I don't, like I said, I don't take life too seriously. I, I clown a lot. I play a lot. I cannot be around people that are too sensitive. I don't like people. I don't have friends that are sensitive. I don't have anybody around me who is too sensitive. Because I joke a lot. Yes, every time in my life I have to be joking. My close friends are not that sensitive because we joke a lot. We are just clowns. We laugh about everything. And we don't like taking life too seriously. That way you can ease through the pain. So many different situations can meet you and you just ease through the pain. Because 
yeah i'm actually a clown to my friends especially to my friends you know if you if you have a group of friends there's always that one person that is a class clown i am and i have always been that person so yeah that's very very accurate thank you the next assumption is from sala sue you are a go-getter you don't care whether you're appreciated or not or not you just do you and that's very good Thank you so, so much for assuming that about me. Me being a go-getter, yes, I am now. But before, I was not. Yes, honestly, before, I was not like this. I didn't have this go-getter spirit. I didn't have this fighting spirit. But, you know, living out here, Europe has taught me a lot. You know, hard times, rough times, poverty, rock bottom has taught me to go and get what I want. And I have been a go-getter ever since I went through maybe the worst times in my life so yeah i am now i can proudly say that i am a go-getter if i see something or if i know that this is something that i want to know or i want to learn or i want to do it i go for it and i don't even bother and then she says you you do you do your thing whether you appreciate it or not let me just paraphrase yes i don't care like i don't care for me i don't people don't validate me especially social media even though I'm somebody that is out here with all the on all the social uh, media platforms, I don't care. I don't let things like things that I see on social media don't bother me a lot, not at all. Maybe it's because I started getting so much into social media when um, I was in a very dark place in my life, so I did not give time a lot to social media. Yes, I was giving all my time to myself. I was working on myself and I was trying to be a better person. So from the very beginning, I was not focused too much there. It's like social media found me. I did not find social media. I'm, I'm talking here as if I'm a, I'm a guru. No. <laughs> but that's what I'm just trying to say. I'm saying that I'm not affected by it because um, it found me. In the sense that I was just doing what I was doing and I, I said, okay, this is a platform where I can actually do, show these things that I do to people and people can learn. So it has always been like that at the, at the back of my mind and it has never changed. So yeah, I, I really don't mind whether I'm appreciated both on social media and both in real life. As long as I know that I'm doing something good or something honest or something real, then I don't care if I'm appreciated or not. And that's why I don't do things for so many people. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, but in real life or on social media. Because, you know, let's be, let's be realistic, you know. We have two lives now. We are living two lives. Everybody is living two lives. If you're on social media, you know you have one life there. And then there's the real life now. Mm? The real life where there is reality. So, mm -hmm, on both sides of the world. I don't care. Whether you appreciate me, whether you don't appreciate me, me, I'm only going ahead. The next one is from Clary Bands, and she says snobbish, <laughs> and she, she used the running emoji after writing snobbish. Well, I will not say snobbish, I'm not snobbish, but I'm not friendly. I'm not that friendly when I don't know people. And so many people will be surprised because uh, they know me as, or they feel like I'm, I'm outgoing and free-spirited. True too, but I'm outgoing and free-spirited with people that I've interacted with. Or people that I really know, or people that I'm comfortable with. But if I, if you find me in a completely strange environment or in a completely new environment, I am not that friendly. Yes, I'm always very. I will just sit very quiet. And the problem with me is when I sit quiet, I'm frowning. Is it frowning or just keeping a very serious face and just being like, you know? And when you keep that kind of face, the next thing people say is that you're snobbish. Yes. So that's where the snobbishness comes in. But I'm that kind of friend that, you know, <laughs> there was a meme that used to go around on Instagram where you say you always have that one friend. If you guys are hanging around and then somebody else is coming, you pinch the person and you're like, respect yourself, respect yourself. Yes. I'm always that friend. You know, when I'm with my friend, eh? <laughs> and we, maybe we are in public. And then someone is maybe approaching us and she knows me the way I can just keep my face. She'll be like, I beg, I beg, I beg, change, I beg, smile, smile some more. Yes, I'm that friend. Not for anything, not that I feel important, but if I'm just not comfortable with you or around you, I'm, I'm just not comfortable around you. That's it, yes. And in some cases, in some cases, I always try to make people to penetrate before they see the real me. I just don't open myself like that, yes. I'm a free-spirited person, but until you 
are able to break the wall before you see that part of me. So I don't know if that's the same as snobbish. I know it's not a good thing. I'm not proud of it. But it has helped me to escape so many bad situations. It, it helped me to be not friends with people that I'm not supposed to be friends with. So yeah. And then this one is from Cedrico Manu. He says amazing. Thank you. The next one is from Eugenia Kibi. And she writes in broken English, but I'll try to translate. You're, scatter, you're a scattered girl normally. Sometimes you can be nice and surprise somebody. Oh my God, what kind of translation is this one? Let me just read it in broken English. Sometimes you feel good so take person wonder, but if the person step on your toes. Hmm. Like you can be nice and you, you can be nice to, a, to an extent. <laughs> I can't translate this one, I beg. You can be too nice, but if somebody steps on your toes, you react. That's basically what she's saying. And then she says, but on a general scale, you are amazing, outspoken, and straight to the point. Thank you so much. Thank you for writing such nice things about me, or assuming such nice things about me. And the first thing she says is, I'm normally scattered. I am. It's as if you know me. Like, it's as if we are living together. I'm literally scattered. Like, I'm a very disorganized person that I can't even lie about myself. I've always been that. I'm not that person that you come and you see. I'm not that OCD kind of person. Nope. I like my space to be clean. I like everything about around me to be clean and organized. Clean and, you know, but organized? Mm -mm. Like, I'm that person that I can do my laundry, dry my clothes, and then fold everything and I just keep it on that place. Let it be there. Don't take it from that place. It's on the wrong position. It's at the wrong position. Don't take it away from there. I'm just looking at it. It's okay. But they are folded. They are there. So I'm that scattered. And I also understand. I try, I try to assume that she, if she also means that I'm scattered when it comes to like outside life. Like if I understand the African context of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to be scattered. Um, yes, I'm still scattered now. Like I like enjoyment. I really like having fun. I like... Uh, I'm that kind of girl that you know they will call in Africa crispy king mm -hmm. because I like partying and all the good stuff. But if you step on my toes, mm -hmm. if you step on my toes, even though people hardly step on my toes, though <laughs> people rarely step on my toes, but I'm that one person that if you step on my toes, I get very, very angry. And my own way of anger, on the other hand, is not even shouting, it's just I'll just sit very quiet. I'll sit very quiet. I'll use very few words on you, but I'll sit very quiet. Except I'm so, so angry. It depends on the, on the degree of anger. And then she says, mm, You're outspoken and straight to the point. I am. I am. Especially when my opinion is asked. I'll tell you like it is. There's no sugar coating. If you ask my opinion, I tell you. And I tell you that that is how it is. So that is, that's true. And then the next one, wow, this one is a long one. This one is from Bita Kwe. She says, you look like a very honest person. Thank you. Okay, let me start with that one because it's quite long. Like a very honest person. Let me say honesty. When it comes to being honest or referring to me as an honest person, I would say on a scale of 1 to 10, being honest to myself, I can give myself like a 9 on 10. Yes, I am very honest, especially when it comes to being honest to myself. And then being honest with other people, it just depends on the person. Like, there are people that are very sensitive, you know, and that's why I hate being around sensitive people because you cannot be really honest with them. You, when you're honest with them, they take it, you know, they take it like something else. So, yeah, when I'm around my real people, I'm giving it to you. They already know. Like, people that know me know that I'll tell you the way it is. If you come and you ask me that, if, if you come, even if you ask me about your bae, this is my bae, this is my bae handsome, and I'm seeing some type of face, I'll just tell you, no, he's not handsome, more. he's like some, he's like a big black rat. Yeah, so that's just it. Then, you, one of those people, one can count on if you need an honest opinion. Yes, if you want me to give my honest opinion, I'll give you, especially if you ask me, I'll give you, I will, I'll, and I'm always very happy. Also, you look like one of those bullies back in school. Oh my God. Ironically, I'm going to tell you this. Back in school, especially throughout secondary school, in fact, throughout my school life, I've always been the smallest. Age-wise and physically, amongst my crowd of friends, like amongst my group of friends, I've always been the smallest. So, like, from secondary school, from secondary school throughout high school, I will not say no, I was a bully. 
No, I was just part of a group. People just always liked me in class because I was small and I was a talkative. I was a talkative. I was very active in class, you know. I would come around and I will bring life. And, you know, yeah, it's always been like that. But in the university, I can say that, you know, based on what we see here, that people call bullies. I don't know if in, in, in Africa, I can actually say we were bullies. We were not bullies. We were just... We were just the cool kids in our heads, like we were the cool kids, we were the popular kids, we, we wanted to be among the popular people. We wanted to hang amongst the popular guys, date the popular guys and all that stuff. And then she continues to say, mm, I hear bullies are insecure people and I'm really wondering what your insecurities were. Yes, you're very correct, bullies are insecure people, but like I said, I don't know if that was bullying. You guys should tell me if that was really bullying because we were not like attacking people like that no we were just we were just one we, we just wanted to be seen yes i don't know if we had issues inside <laughs> maybe we all had issues inside you know we just wanted to be popular we just wanted to belong we, we were doing things that people always notice us so maybe maybe and then right now you're getting yourself together and getting to know what you want in life Though it's still a blur, but you, you're confident about the process. <laughs> Let me run before you meet me. <laughs> uh, right now, I'm, still, I'm trying to get myself together. Mm, no, I think I started getting myself together about two years ago. That was when I realized that, no, this is time for me. I'm getting older. This is time for me to start, you know, in as much as I have to still enjoy this life and do things. I have to also do important things. I have to prioritize some certain things in life. So... I'm still in the process. Yes, I'm still in the process. That's very true. Um, I know where I'm going to. I know what I want. And um, everything is actually falling in place. And it has actually increased and improved my confidence level. So, yeah, that's very true. Thank you guys so much for writing. And I actually enjoyed this video. I don't know. I didn't believe that it was going to be up to... It was going to be this long. So, I'm so sorry. But thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate you guys. And thank you for all those who took up their time. Oh my god, my mouth is watering. Thank you to all those who took up their time to write. Um, to assume things about me. I do appreciate you guys a lot. Before I go, stay pretty, stay slain. And don't always smile. See my next video, guys. Bye.